Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Vandermull and I'm the Sacraments Pastor here at the Foundry Church. And today we're going to continue in our study of the Acts Prayer Model, where we've already talked about adoration, confession, and today we're going to be focusing in on Thanksgiving. One of the things that I love about science is how it proves what God has already known to be true. In fact, I just learned the other day that our brains can't be both fearful and thankful at the same time. It has to choose one or the other. And it got me thinking about that passage in Philippians where it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And there's that little nugget in there. It says, with thanksgiving. And it really stresses the importance of living a thankful life. Tomorrow we're going to be diving into supplication, but I want to just take a moment to talk to you today about being thankful. And um, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 through 18 tells us, Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So I don't know what you're going through today. Maybe it's been a great day and everything's going awesome. Or maybe it's been um, a hard season and you're having a hard time finding things to be thankful for. But I do want to remind you today is that if you've given your life to Christ, there's a reason to be thankful each and every day. And that is because God sent his one and only son, Jesus, into the world to die on the cross to save us from our sins. And that hope of eternity with him cannot be taken away. And so I encourage you, if you need a place to start, start there, giving thanks for what God did by sending his son into this world. And then after that, um, we can be thankful for all the different blessings that God has given us. And there's different ways that you can practice that. Um, You can think of the ABCs. Start with a letter A and think of something that you're thankful for with A. And then go to B, C, D. See if you can make it all the way through the alphabet. It's a challenge. Um, And perhaps you can do that in the morning when you get up, when you go to bed at night, or when you're driving in the car. Just a way of practicing um, being thankful. In fact, my wife and I, we have this little box in our house where um, we put things that we're thankful for. And at the end of each month, we would take those things out and we would read them. And at the end of the year, um, we would we'd take them all out again and read them again, just as a way of practicing of being thankful. And so I want to encourage you today um, to be thankful and, and to know that the things that we have do come from God because James 1 verse 17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. And so those things were given to us by God and we can be thankful. And I want you to take some time now to give thanks to God. And we're going to dive into Psalm 100 where it says, Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. It's been awesome spending some time with you today. Um, I hope you tune in with us again tomorrow as we finish up the Acts prayer model looking at supplication. And then again, join us this coming Thursday for the National Day of Prayer where we will gather in our church building and open it up for a time of prayer, um, 6.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. We'd love to have you come out and check it out. Uh, Have a great day, everyone.